Hi, welcome to Cartier V5 video tutorial. It's another remake, the rotary switch, now in HD and with audio commentary. I'll do it very similar to the Siemens NX version. So, let's have fun with Cartier V5. Similar to the NX version, I don't want to use sketches but 3D curves. So let's go for a line and I want to go for angle normal to curve. Just lock this one. The curve would be that axis. The support plane would be this one. The point should be, go for clear point and that would be a point at 0, 60, 0. And the length should be 50 millimeters. And now let's adjust that angle here. So it should be angle of six degrees. And confirm. Now next I want to have an arc. So go for circle. I go for center and radius. Yes, the center would be a point. That would be zero, zero, zero. That would be the origin. Confirm. Then I want to use this plane as support. The radius should be 64. Now I want to adjust those angles. So just move it up. So this should be 90 degrees and this one 180 degrees. And this looks good. And confirm. Then another one on this plane here. So go for another point and that point would be at 30 and set should be 50. Confirm. The support would be this plane. The radius should be 20 millimeters and I want to adjust those angles. So I want to go here for 270 at first at least and this one should be at 180 and I want to add 10 degrees here so it's 190 and this should be 260 and confirm. Now I can go for my surfaces so let's start with an extrude this one. That would be the curve. The direction would be this plane, so it goes normal to that plane. And you can go for limit 1 or limit 2, so I go for limit 1 and that would be 60 millimeters and confirm. Then I want to extend that surface. And that's this one here and it's called extrapolate. Select the edge, select the surface and go for 40 millimeter and assemble the result that's okay confirm then another one with this edge select the face 40 millimeters and again assemble it and confirm now I want to do an extrude with this arc the direction would be this plane Again, go for 60 millimeters, confirm. And then I want to do a revolve with this one. The axis for the revolution would be this one. And then adjust those angles. So this might be 90 degrees. Like that. And the other angle should be zero degrees in this case. Looks good. Maybe hide those three curves. And now I can trim. So go for the trim here. And select the regions you want to keep. So that's standard mode. I select this one here. Then I select that region. And at last, 
in this region and confirm looks pretty good maybe go for a different visual style like this and similar to an X I want to mirror it and then do that variable radius fill it so let's go for symmetry I want this to be mirrored and this would be the reference the mirror plane confirm then join those two surfaces confirm and now go for that variable radius fillet which should be somewhere over here this one select this edge here so you got two points this should be 10 millimeter this should be 10 millimeter and I need another point right here so let's go for well my points there here they are go for maybe an end point on this edge here like that and that radius should be 20 millimeter I want to trim the support that's okay I don't want to go for cubic I want to go for linear okay looks pretty good now I need a another fillet an edge fillet I go for five millimeters on this edge here and that edge over here confirm and now I can make symmetry with this surface over here that's the edge fillet it's okay and the reference plane would be this one for the mirror looks okay confirm and now do a join this surface and that surface and confirm and I'm done so hope it was helpful hope you liked it if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel you can follow me also on facebook grabcat and maybe instagram hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye